Let's make a pom-pom bookmark. We'll be making two styles today, one with a long yarn tail and one attached to a paper clip. All you need to make this craft is yarn and a pair of scissors. You'll need a paper clip if you want to make that style, and you might also find it useful to have two discs of cardboard cut out that you can use as a template when you're trimming your pom-pom. First cut a length of yarn. 12 inches is probably plenty. Begin wrapping the yarn around your finger snugly without cutting off circulation. I went around probably about 100 times. Once you've got a nice bundle of yarn on your fingers, carefully scooch it off and lay it on top of the length of yarn you cut at the beginning. You're going to tie that length of yarn tightly around the middle of the bundle. Make sure to knot it tightly because you do not want this to come apart. One end of the length will be used as the tail of your bookmark. Hold your future pom-pom by the lengths of yarn that you tied around the middle so that way you don't accidentally trim off the tail of your bookmark. Next we'll be cutting all of the loops on either side of your bundle. Carefully slide the blade of your scissors in the bundle and start chopping. Some of the loops are kind of sneaky and like to hide in there so you might have to dig around a little bit to make sure you get them all. Once you've cut all of the loops you'll be giving your pom-pom a haircut. Feel free to eyeball it if you like. I cut two circles of cardboard so I could use them as a cutting template on either side of my pom-pom. The more you cut into it, the poofier it will be, and the less you cut into it, the shaggier it will be. When you're satisfied with your first pass, go ahead and squish it in half in the other direction and start trimming on that side as well. You might need to do a couple of passes to get a nice even ball. You'll also have yarn confetti everywhere, so you might want to put down newspaper. When you're all done trimming, decide which length of yarn you want to be the tail of your bookmark and cut the other one. And now you have a lovely pom-pom bookmark. You can make an even smaller pom-pom by using a fork. Start by cutting a length of yarn and slide it in the middle of the tines of the fork. And like before, just start wrapping away. Now take that length of yarn that you put in the center of the fork and tie it very tightly around the bundle. When the bundle is securely knotted, you can pull the whole thing off of the fork and then same process as before, you'll be trimming the loops and then cutting the pom-pom to size. This time take the ends of the yarn and you will tie them tightly to the end of the paper clip. If you have a hot glue gun, you might be able to secure it with a little dab of glue, but otherwise a knot will work just fine. Trim the ends and you have a lovely paper clip bookmark. Want to keep the pom-pom party going? Creative Bug has you covered. If you search pom-pom at the search bar on the top of the screen, they have all kinds of classes to help you use your new skill. I think these embellished photo pillows are really cute. Still feeling crafty? Did you know that you have access to thousands of art and craft classes online with Creative Bug? It's free with your library card. You can find Creative Bug on the library's website, ssldl.info. Click on Research and Alphabetize Databases and scroll down to Creative Bug. You'll register with your library card, enter some information, and then you'll be ready to go.